We have the Gulu, super safe and rich. You're driving the life. Uh, this is Titan Series GP2000 jump starter. Uh, big shout out to Gulu. They did send me this to test for you guys, see if it works or see if it doesn't work. Uh, don't forget to help out, help out this channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this. Make more to review videos. That's the way YouTube is the platform by subscribers and likes. So help out the channel by doing so. All right. 228 by uh, 99.5 by 33 millimeter. It says weight uh, 630 grams. Uh, battery capacity 19,800 mA. Thing we see here we see a nice case um says the brand here gulu on the front jump starter bank all right so let's take out the whatever's in here first thing we have is the usb type c then we got some uh connectors here for the battery pretty decent it's pretty good 30 seconds to start it so these are the lights that we're talking about you got the red light you got uh Maybe a green light and then you got a boost button here. You have to press this button uh, to, you know, to get a boost. Obviously, when your battery is like super dead, you get a nice, looks like a nice cigarette adapter. So you got, uh, this is a wall outlet here. Doesn't have any specifications here that I can see. So we got some instructions. All right, so fairly thin. It's it's kind of long wise, but it's fairly thin. It says caution, fully read before you. You have to read the, make sure you guys read the instructions before you guys, you do have an on and off button here. Uh, it tells you the, the charge, how many bars you got. Obviously four is full and what that just went down to three. So we're gonna put this on the charger before we use it. Uh, you got Titan series, GP2000 jump starter. We do have the connector, the jumper cable connector. Back here, you got a flashlight. Uh, you got a five volt, nine volt, 12 volt uh, uh, charger. This is for higher voltage. If you want, if your uh, phone's capable of fast charging, and then you got a standard 2.1 um, five volt uh, outlet. You got a USB Type C output. So I guess you can hold it. Yeah, you hold it, and then the lights turns on. So that's pretty nice because if you know you're out changing a tire at the middle at night or something uh, this is a really nice feature to have Let's see if it has any other features in there so it does have a blinking and then a slower blinking then off all right so we do have an output this is for the cigarette lighter so if you want to put this in here uh, you can power your uh, 12 volt devices all right we got an old truck here this is a 2000 uh, GMC Sierra we're gonna go ahead and with the 5.3 we're gonna go ahead and start up the, the vehicle what I like to do is I like to connect it first so positive you do have to look at the battery positive the negative connect it here All right it's powered on as you guys see there right there to the start so we got no uh, no power so what we have to do is what uh, the instruction says so the instruction says we have to push the boost button all right so that's what happened so light is green some lights Three. All right, so let's do more. All right, we're still at 100% according to this, you know, probably 75 to 100%. So let's do another boost. It's ready. All right, I'm not even gonna go in the vehicle. And this truck does have a hard time starting. You have to leave the gas on to start, let it start. All right, so we're down to three bars. It's understandable. It's a smaller battery. It does have a bunch of power.
I think this 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 uh, jump starter is doing really good. I think uh, we got enough test already on this jump starter. Seems I think it seems to be working well. We could try we can try one more test and see see if it'll start this vehicle again. All right, so you go down here again. All right, you connect it. Slide screen, correct. You leave it on. All right, yeah, it's working, guys. You do have to check the connections. You, you see this this truck's barely starting. It does have a lot of trouble starting and staying on, but it it, it will it will stay on. See, the battery's completely dead. By the way, that's just <laughs> that's what's killing the uh, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Hey guys, we still have three bars, no problems whatsoever. Uh, this is a great product actually it's not not a bad little deal here like i said you do have to watch out with these cables you do have to connect them sometimes they, they won't be in right they will make a uh, connection right so you do have to be, make make sure you move them around when you connect them move it around make sure it bites in you know the the the, the metals same thing with that and then you do have to mess with this so you do have to you know push the boost button so you guys could you know give all the batteries power to this uh, and non-starting engine anyways that's it for today guys just want to share this with you guys i'll leave any links or anything down below and don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hit the bell icon and we'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching